I live south of the Thames, and now that Thameslink have sorted themselves out, it has become easier to visit places north of London. My first photo walk took me to St Albans, named after Britain's first Christian martyr, whose name and cult survives from the days of Roman Britain. However, my interest in the cathedral city comes from later, but first I popped into the cathedral where I had to dodge the school educational visits, but managed a shot down the nave without people, which didn't last much longer than my chosen shutter speed. These shots are handheld, helped by the image stabilizers in both the 12 to 100 Pro lens and the EM1 Mark II. The Compare West window shows St. Alban. See it in the second panel from the left. I conduct extensive research before any trip. About two miles west of St Albans are the ruins of Old Gorhambury House, remains of an immense Elizabethan mansion and visited by Queen Elizabeth I on at least four occasions. Not much of it is left and can only be accessed on foot using a permissive path, which is the approach to the current Gorhambury house. That is 18th century, built in the Neo-Palladium style, but unfortunately at the time of my visit it was closed due to major refurbishment. The drive starts at St Michael's Lodge, close to the Roman Theatre, and can be walked between 8am and 6pm on most days. Cars can be left at the Verulamian Museum car park. The tree-lined avenue soon enters countryside, but photographers familiar with mountain views will find the gently undulating Hertfordshire scenery a challenge. After rounding Gorhambury, the ruins of Old Gorhambury suddenly come into view. You may be the only visitor disturbed only by passing cyclists and hardly anything on four wheels. After photography, I found it a good place for a nap. The tranquillity disturbed only by the distant sounds of the M1 and planes departing from Luton. But it was still bliss. Although not extensive, given the right sort of sun, there is ample scope for recording patterns and textures in the stonework at different angles. Be careful of exposed drops which are unguarded. Health and safety has not yet reached this remote corner of Hertfordshire. I still had the 12 to 100. I like to travel light. But when photographing the whole of Old Gormhambury House, I ended up with converging verticals. Whilst I could present an artistic interpretation conveying the ruinous state of the mansion, I prefer to correct the verticals in post-production. 
I used the Lightroom sliders, finding the preset somewhat hit and miss. Here are the details. When shooting the shadow side, I spot metered off a highlight and corrected the underexposed parts in Lightroom. I have to be careful about noise, but it worked. Here again are the settings. The return is the way I came. Approaching the Roman theater again, there was a distant but striking view of the cathedral. I missed it on the outward leg because it was behind me.